Hello and welcome back to Tips of Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to answer one of the questions that I get the most requests for. At least five or six times a month a viewer will write or call me and say, Danny, I'm trying to use the VLOOKUP function, the vertical lookup function. However, I'm having difficulty. The data that I want to look up is not in the leftmost column of the table. So I'm going to show you how we can use the offset function inside the VLOOKUP function to be able to give us the value that we want to return. So with the VLOOKUP function, it returns a value that's found in a table or an array. So in this case, the value that I want to return is the unit price for a specific product. I want to be able to get the unit price for this particular product, Flounder, by looking inside a table. However, I need to be able to find a match for the product in the leftmost column of a table. Now, in this case, I'm using a snapshot. Imagine that this table goes extends 25 more fields and it extends a thousand more rows. So here's a small snapshot that I have over here. And this is a report that I get from the IT department every day. I've actually named this uh, table inventory. And I've actually created an Excel 2007 and Excel 2010 table called inventory for the information. The big problem is that when I need to be able to search for a match for this product inside the leftmost column, the product field is not the leftmost column. So I'm going to use the offset function. Let me show you how offset works. Equals offset and I'll use tab for function autocomplete and at this point control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. So the offset function returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from the given range. So in this case the given range is going to be that name range inventory and I want to offset the reference by one column. So notice I make a reference to a table or a name range. So the reference that I'm going to make is to the name range inventory and I want to offset it by zero rows and one column and use this inside VLOOKUP. So up here equals VLOOKUP and again tab to bring up function autocomplete beginning with Excel 2007 the lookup value I prefer to make a reference to a cell. You could also look it up by uh, typing in the value and if it's text include it inside double quotation marks. All right, use a comma. Now the table array that I want to refer to, the table array has a name. It's called inventory but it must be a reference to the first of the leftmost column of the table array. So if I'm going to use the name range table, and again, imagine that this extends many more rows and many more columns, is named inventory. So at this point, I want to use offset. And the offset function has a reference. The reference is going to be to that name range, which is called inventory. And again, with function or formula autocomplete, any name ranges will come up. So this is the name range and I want to offset it by zero rows but one column. So I want to keep the reference in the same row that I'm looking it up but I want to offset it by one column to the right. Right parentheses closes off the offset part of our function but remember now we're back here to the VLOOKUP and we separate all arguments with a comma. So this is going to be one of your gotcha steps. Now remember to put in a comma and now we be, need to be able to put in the column index reference. So remember since I offset the name range by one column, this is column one, unit price, which is the value that I want to return, is going to be in the second column for the reference. Now the fourth and final argument is an optional argument. If I want to have an exact match, I use false as the fourth argument. And again, use tab to put that in there and close this off with a right matching.
parentheses. So now you can see that what I'm using VLOOKUP for is I want to return a value. The value that was returned with VLOOKUP was this value by looking up to match this lookup value in a table arrange, the first column of the table array. I use the offset function to offset the name range inventory by one column to the right. All right so let's repeat this now to look up the quantity on hand. Again, remember that the name range that I have, and I get this on a daily basis from the IT department, it comes in with the vendor as the first column. I need to be able to find the value by looking it up in the first column of a table array. So I use offset to do that. Equals V lookup, tab to bring up function autocomplete. The lookup value is going to be over here. And I much prefer to make a reference to a cell where I have the value over here. Comma. The table array, I want to offset the name range inventory. So offset the name range. That's going to be the reference. And that, in this case, is called inventory. And again, I can use function autocomplete to bring up any name range. I want to offset it by zero rows comma one column right parentheses closes off that part of the formula remember now that I'm still in VLOOKUP so the next argument needs to be separated by a comma the column index now with offset that's row one or column one column two I want to be able to look in column three and I do want to find an exact match while I'm searching in product so I'll use false tab up oh, up oh, and want to use false not true I want to use false over here tab and then write parentheses and there you go so now the beauty is, is that if I have a change in the report and make this fifty two dollars notice that the V lookup will reflect that change if all at once the inventory is changed and I only have a hundred and ten units on hand then that's automatically updated now many people say well Danny you know you've got a table over here and I've used the uh, the table tools to create an Excel 2007 Excel 2010 table yeah certainly I could go through and find that information by creating a filter deselect all and then just select that product that you want to look up but you know that's a ideal situation Usually, I'm using the VLOOKUP on another worksheet in the workbook. So in this case, what I want to do is clear this, and I'm going to open up a brand new worksheet. And what I want to be able to do is I want to copy over these values. So come over here, and let's begin over here. And notice over here that uh, I have my comment, of course, put in there, and, and I want to enlarge this a little bit. Let's go over here to the View tab on the ribbon and say Zoom to the selection. So now I'm in a brand new worksheet called Sheet 2. And I want to be able to make a reference over here to a product. So actually, let's get rid of this comment. Let's right mouse click and say Delete the comment. And I want to delete this reference over here. So I want to be able to find a reference to a product. And I've used data validation. So let's put in here a brand new product, Onion Bagels. And I actually want to be able to look up multiple products. So with data validation, I'm not going to go into the details, but data validation is found on the data tab of the ribbon. Over here in the data tab of the ribbon with data validation, I said select from a list. The name list, I created a name range called product. So I want to be able to copy this down. So I'm going to say copy. And then I want to be able to paste special. Right mouse click, paste special. What I want to do is paste special, um, a, a particular type of paste special, which is the data validation. Click OK. So over here, I want to be able to look up Blue Point Oysters, and down here I want to be able to look up Cabbage. All right, so let's extend the length over here by double clicking. Let's use equals VLOOKUP, and what? Oh, I clicked up too fast. Equals VLOOKUP, tab, 
and then what I want to be able to look up is a value this is the value the cell reference comma the table array is in a name range so the name range is inventory and again that's one of the beauties a name range applies to all the worksheets inside a workbook I'm offsetting it actually so what I wanted to do is go back here and say offset the name range called inventory by in this case over here I want to come over here to the row reference which is going to be a comma zero rows and one uh, column and then close that off comma to finish up the VLOOKUP in this case the unit price I know is in the second column and I want to make it an exact reference so I'm going to use false over here so now when I choose that and close this off there you go now before I can copy this down what I want to be able to do is I want to say alright as you copy this down keep the reference absolute for column A so put a dollar sign in front of column A and now I can copy this down and when I come over here and look at the price for Blue Point Oysters in my original data set the blue point oysters that I find over here I have them set for a unit price of sixty one dollars come back here and there you go and if a change was made over here they go up to sixty five dollars now you can see that the vertical reference the VLOOKUP has reflected that change so there you've seen how you can use the offset function inside a VLOOKUP function to help you to return values when your data is not set up optimally. And just before I close, I want to draw your attention to my brand new online products that I offer and my brand new online shopping cart, shopthecompanyrocks.com. The first extended length tutorials that I have are Excel pivot tables and I make them available in either a downloadable fashion or as a DVD-ROM and you can get them for either Excel 2003, 2007, Excel 2010. So I will look for you in the next lesson.